Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're going to show you how to install a new camera in the factory location of a 2016 up GMC Chevy truck. Let's get started. Okay, so the issue that we're having with this 2016 GMC here is when we put it in reverse, the camera works, but it is so fuzzy. It's almost like looking through fog. Um, we've lost the HD and it's just not a very clean picture. So what we're gonna do is replace the camera with an aftermarket um, OEM type fit that should uh, fix this issue and increase our resolution. Now the camera we're looking to replace is the factory one right here. Now this factory one, um, we're gonna replace it with one that fits right in that factory location, but it will be aftermarket. However, this will plug into the factory harnesses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the bench and show you the kit that we're gonna use for our install. Okay, so the kit that we're gonna go with is a kit by Camera Source. Essentially here, um, this kit is a step-by-step -step kit allowing you to install this aftermarket camera in the factory location. Now it's equipped with these harnesses here that will plug directly into the factory plugs found within the tailgate itself. The nice thing is this also bolts up into the factory location as well. Um, if we follow this step by step, we just disassemble the back um, axis panel in the tailgate and this should plug right on in. So at this point of time, what we're gonna do is grab our kit. We're gonna head over to the truck and get this installed. Okay, so we're here at the truck. Now there are gonna be eight T15 Torx screws that are holding on this access panel here. What we need to do is remove those. And then what we'll do is pry up this panel, exposing the harnesses and the camera so we can remove them. Okay, so with the panel off, we see our factory camera right down in there and the two screws, two Torx bits that are holding it in. Now, what we'll need to do is unplug this harness because this is also um, passing through our power lock here uh, with our model truck. And then this basically runs down, runs down through the tailgate. You can feel it right here. And then there's a harness up underneath the truck by the spare tire that it unplugs. And essentially then we just put in the new cable. underneath the truck by the spare tire and you can see this harness bank and the one that we're concerned with is this guy right here you can kind of see it loops over and then it goes up into the tailgate so what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this harness so we can pull the camera all the way out all right so with this cable totally disconnected what we can do is pull this on out like so so we have our old camera out and then our new camera and what it looks like we should be able to bolt it right up to the same location we're gonna go ahead and do a test fit we need to do from this point since we've now screwed in our camera and connected this harness is we got to feed this harness through the inside of the tailgate through this axis hole and then into underneath the bed of the truck so what we're going to do is we have a piece of wire like a hanger and we're going to first feed that through Thank you. 
Okay, so we fed that all the way through, went into the uh, target area, brought that out. Now it just hangs down here. We're gonna test everything before we zip tie it up, but we plugged it right into the factory harness location. Okay, we've got our access panel all back on. All eight screws have been reassembled here. Um, basically, we're done here at the tailgate. Here's our new camera. Looks just like the factory one. You wouldn't know any different. Slightly different design, but overall fits right there in the factory location. Here up underneath the truck, we ran that cable right through there. Now we had some extra cable. They gave you a ton, so we zip tie the extra down there then ran it all the way into the plug. Got it all plugged in. So at this point of time, we're all done. Let's do a final test. Okay, so we're back here in the truck. Let's see what the new view looks like. Oh yeah, much better. So what we've gone is from um, a poor picture quality that looked like we're looking through fog, it was super hazy, to a nice HD image, uh, which will greatly increase our visibility as we back up the truck. Um, now the, this kit also gives us the oper option and opportunity to remove extra guidelines by cutting the loop. Uh, we'll leave those instructions within the description in case you are one of those that want to do that. We're going to go ahead and leave ours. We like the way it looks and uh, greatly increases our visibility. So that's about it for this install. We'll have a link to the kit that we used in the description below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, we will see you in the next video.